Ladies and gentlemen, let's try Gaming Theticon video. Let us discuss AMD's Tonga GPU. So, it would appear that GCN is the architecture that continues to give. And some of this is rumors and speculation. It's actually appeared on videocards.com. And there's a little bit of confusion right now concerning this, but we'll go over it the best we can anyway. Um, so it would appear that this isn't going to be specifically a new high-end part. And indeed, Tonga was rumoured when we first got a glimpse of it listed in a beta driver, Catalyst beta driver, over a year ago. Um, and it was announced with, or well, listed with uh, other things such as, say, Hawaii. So Tonga itself is not a single island, and this is the proper Tonga, T-O-N-G-A, but an actual archipelago of 176. So in theory, they've got a piracy history, and so if you actually take a look at the fact that they've got volcanoes, you can kind of see where AMD's going with the whole naming conventions, can't you? So Tonga appears to be mainstream processing, and is most likely going to be manufactured by global foundries and it will introduce some major changes to the architecture but supposedly it's most likely not going to be 20 nanometer and it's not going to have super duper high bandwidth memory built in or anything like that indeed instead it's more going to be a competitor to say Maxwell the GM 107 AMD have basically been focused on improving the GCN architecture through increased power efficiency. So what we're going to be seeing here is pretty much a reduction of power required, in other words, power consumption, and in theory that should reduce the heat and everything else that you'd expect. So the token architecture is also said to feature a new power tune boost, um, which in theory, is going to be operating at a much lower hardware level. In addition to that, um, it's going to support all of the other current technologies, for example, um, Mansell, um, True Audio, possibly XDMA Crossfire, and other bits and pieces as well. Uh, and if rumors are correct, the cards should come out in about two to three months' time. Now, here's the interesting part about all of this. Tonga Power GPUs are apparently only going to feature about 2 gigabytes of memory, or 2 gigabytes of memory in the reference models anyway. Now, we don't have a name yet. But it's fair to say it's probably going to be about the 270, between the 270X and, say, 280, 280X kind of performance would be a fair assumption. Um... And so it's not going to be like the bleeding high end. But obviously this is a step in the direction of AMD improving the power efficiency of their systems. Now if you're one of those people, not just like I am, that thinks, well, I bet uh, Microsoft and Sony wish they'd have had this technology, then you're not alone. I bet they do as well, because in theory they could have actually packed a little bit more onto the silicon. To reiterate, this is not exactly the most exciting in terms of bleeding edge performance. This is not going to be like a, a 7 d flop computing part or anything like that. But it is a step in the right direction from AMD improving the power efficiency and overall the performance of their design. Now I know what you're going to say, is 2 gigabytes of memory enough? Well, I'd say yes, at the, end, at the end of the day, this is not going to be targeting like a 1440p or above. So a 2 gigabyte buffer is most likely going to be okay for the market segment that they're actually aiming at with this particular, uh, with this particular GPU. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.